Twin Flames, welcome to my channel. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for you. This is for Twin Flames in separation, in relationships, situationships, any ship. <laughs> this reading is for you. Okay, I hope you're doing great. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that. If uh, this uh, reading resonates with you, uh, feel free to like and whatever you want <laughs> all the good stuff uh it is the first of may and um yeah we are in taurus season happy birthday to you if you are taurus and or you're celebrating with the taurus at this time so i'm going to give it an extra shuffle i'm using the giant rider wheat tarot deck it is quite heavy amongst others so I have posted 12 signs, um, yeah, <laughs> this, this week and uh, a collective reading you can watch as well. Uh, I'm traveling um, the day after tomorrow, so yeah, I will be posting readings again. I'll try to post some on Sunday, uh, but uh, probably most of them will be on Monday when I'm back in London. Okay, Twin Flames, let's dive into your reading. Let's see what spirits have to say to you around your situation so wow the emperor well <laughs> what a start well what, what a start a person okay this is someone that is realizing they have a purpose yeah they are looking at this uh, connection as a uh, this is this is the connection for them this is where they want to stay this is where they want to invest this is where they want to build they want to bring families together they want to it's like someone vision visioning a future together but this person they are coming towards you slowly when it comes to building the ten of pentacles they could have aries in their chart they could have earth in their chart they could also have um sorry here uh water elements in their chart wow <laughs> now i've I'm picking up already. There is uh, several energies around you. Uh, there are twin flames. I am picking up someone that is hiding their feelings. Wow. This person might have Scorpio in their chart. They are hiding their feelings. They are up at night. They're in despair. Um, this is someone that fear that they have to walk away from you. That's, oh, goodness gracious. This person here is on a battlefield um wow um wow what a, a, lo a lot of energies and we're going to figure figure all this out someone have deep feelings for you but i'm picking up there's twin flame there's this there's that okay you are turning away but you know who you love okay but you're also quite satisfied with your life someone that is showing up here they are not in a good shape okay uh this person could be someone that feel like they are losing you that this is there, you know, where they switch to level up, to go through an awakening. This person is going through the dark night of the soul. Because I'm picking up in this reading already that some of you could be meeting a soulmate. That you are meant to have a connection with someone else. So I do see a, someone with earth in their chart. The person over here could have Aries Scorpio. But they are in despair. Let's see. Let's find out who this person is. Okay, twin flames. So someone here is like trying to get away with something here. They're trying to get away with something. They're trying to hide their feelings. What is going on with this person here? Okay, let's see what spirits, what is going on with this person? Okay, so someone, okay, this could be a person here that had the ambition to make a good impression on you, to you know, first show you their stuff <laughs> to get your interest and then, you know, open up. But there was an abrupt ending. And now they are there with their feelings. They don't know what to do with their feelings. And they ha have a desire to, to share love with you. I believe there's a soulmate here. Um, yeah, this is a soulmate. Um, could be could have Sagittarius in their chart as well. Sagittarius, um, yeah, Aries. Wow, there is a. So someone here has been holding on to scarcity mindset, not really taking the right action. So now, when there is there is something falling apart for them, 
there is definitely something falling apart. I feel like it is something they're losing, finances. It could be you they're losing. Wow. Um, there is something massive happening around this person's energy. It's like, um, it's like a rebirth, transformation and ending. They have to let go as a release transition. There's major change, death of an old self. Someone here, is, someone here is going through pain. And as they are going through pain, they might have to surrender because someone could be battling here as well with the devil, like it's something they're indulging in. Wow, it's a quite, quite a full-on energy. This person could drink a lot, um, holding on to like an illusion, but whilst being drunk, this is someone that isn't... Yeah, I don't know. This person here is... Um, they're going through battle. I mean, really going through a battle. So this could be a karmic twin flame. That's what it shows to me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this shows a karmic twin flame. They, you know, they're being pushed the right direction, but they keep relapsing and they're being pushed again and they, re they are relapsing. I'm picking up that there is another energy over here. So, okay, it's a lot of energies in this reading. Okay, let's try to figure this one out. So, okay. Oh, what a mess. I am trying to do readings way too late uh, and haven't tied it up. Okay, so what's happening here in this story? Um, okay, why is the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords here for my dear twin flames in their environment. Okay, who is trying to get away with something here? There's something about seeking compromise, warning about moving. Don't warn, uh, like it says something about money. Don't, it's the high risk. There's something about high risk here. Wow. High risk. There is, I mean, I'm picking up here, Twin Flames. Wow, this, this, uh, this uh, reading even shocks me. Okay. You might be dealing with someone that is in despair, okay? They're holding on to a hope of latching on to you somehow because they are out of pocket completely. And their only hope is to come in with this romantic gesture after there has been an ending in their life and also with you. Their chances of that is very slim, especially because they didn't treat you very nice, especially because this person walked away from you and you have already, already turned your back to someone. Yeah, I'm seeing someone that is holding on to you but it's un it's completely unrealistic. Many of you could have, you know, know you have a karmic twin flame. So I think this reading is very specific. Know you have a karmic twin flame. You have let them go because they have let you go. This is someone that goes to you, left you out in the cold, but now they need you. This person needs you. They breadcrumbs you. You have found happiness since they've been gone. Okay. And now someone, there is an energy here of holding on to you oh my god what on earth this person here is i don't know it's like the devil the devil himself that is someone is is not in a good way but they're energetically and i hope not in the 3d but it could be someone here is it's as if someone is trying to you know play games like continue an old way even though they see they I lost their money they haven't got much left they don't have many friends left there is their their thinking of happiness is also an illusion because you know they probably aren't sober so again this is a karmic twin flame and somehow in this madness of theirs they say that okay well they have they don't have a choice but to walk away from where they are i mean they i don't know where they're going but it's something about um holding on to your energy let's see let's see what's going to happen they're holding on to your energy for their life you walked away from something you could be walking away from a project you're cutting your losses could be a new job you're going for as well, promotion. Something about warning and moving with high risk. Uh, something about being careful with travel here as well. Or if someone tells you that they want you to, or if they want to come and see you or something like that, I would be careful of that. Because someone here is not who they say they are. 
Yeah. Someone here is not who they say they are. And something about high risk. Um, you could have cancer in your chart. We have Capricorn, Pisces. We have Sagittarius as well. We have Virgo. We have Gemini. Double confirmation of Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this is a, a sort of an outside energy. Um, but we'll continue. Because you are... You filled up your cup. You have moved away from someone and you have new feelings. But someone here is not who they, who they say they are. So I will be very careful here. This is what you call a loose cannon. <laughs> Talk about a very uh, surprising reading, especially twin flame reading. <laughs> but again, I never know. I never know what's going to be the content, um, but someone is trying to really hold on to you. Okay. Who is the Knight of Pentacles? Who is the Knight of Pentacles? Someone that gave hardly anything to you. Someone that struggled, someone that did the same over and over again. They were persistent, they had resilience. But they're wary. There is like someone is doing something over and over. They have to come clean here. There's someone that had kept secrets. Someone wants to come clean to you, but I think it's too late. Okay, now, because you have already turned away from someone, but there is, it's a very un, much of an unrealistic situation that is holding on to you, uh, Twin Flames. I feel this is a karmic Twin Flame. I mean, you feel like this cycle with them is completed. Um, you might want to travel, celebrating life. So there is deception, manipulation, talk, not, uh, all talk, haste. Hazard action, self-expression. There is someone here, uh, self-respect, self-confident, introverted, selfish, jealous, and insecurity. There is an inner child feeling down, overly optimistic or negative, depression, sadness, careless, arrogance. There is someone in your energy here that you have walked away from. The wheel have turned for you and you have a new opportunity new job opportunity perhaps as well wow but there is a situation here uh, definitely take care i would not um i would not uh communicate with this person is someone here that is um uh, i'll ask again who is this person the devil the moon devil the moon yeah they are trying they're trying to make amends. They will suddenly appear out of nowhere. This could be a shock. Yeah, something about this, this person here is, uh, I will definitely, it's something very uh, unstable about them because they are desperate. I hope they don't know where you live. <laughs> wow, what an unexpected uh, uh, reading. Why is the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles? Uh, I don't like when I get these warning readings, but I got I to gotta do them still. Okay. See, now this person, okay. They are seeing that you are the one that got away. You have the finances and they were foolish to turn you down. Now they are burdened, this, that, and the other. Okay. No one gives them attention anymore. Their tricks aren't working as well. You know, they have to surrender. This person have been like bad behavior for a very long time you know there is like they the only thing that they have left they feel okay is that this union now they are like oh what, what it's like in desperation what what do i have left here uh yes is this union okay but they signed a contract they stayed with someone and things didn't clearly didn't work out and uh, now they want to come back. But um, I see that you have turned away from this person. Possibly dating someone else. You have the temperance.
Yeah, I would definitely stay away from it. There's an energy here that is very, very difficult. Also, okay, yeah, see here, this is a, this is actually, it could be a couple trying to target you. This could be someone coming back to you. This could be someone that did hurt you as well. That, well, it's clear that they did hurt you, but you, you have confidence now. You, you have, you know, you have healed and everything. Um, you have moved forward, but this person's coming up in your energy very, very strong. Yeah. They are looking for you frantically. This person here has hit rock bottom. I'm telling you, their luck has like this. This person could have been um, using black magic. This person is like everything has backfired on them. Everything is backfiring on this person. Literally. I never ever seen anything like it in a reading. They've tried to do something on you or someone else around them tried to do something around you. Like really, why is this ongoing spirits? Why is this the circus ongoing? <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. What is the, what is the, what, what is this person doing? Someone here is upset that they have to work so hard. They feel like everything is so easy for you. It's like they're waking up to like, okay, this connection here, they, they have to uh, pull back and, and they have to connect with you. But th there is, there is no connection. You have cut this person out. They don't have any options any, anymore as well. Now, for you, col uh, Collective and Twin Flames, see here, you, you have met someone new. Someone that you're looking at. Someone that's looking at you. And this person knows that you, you are leaving this person for good. That's the energy here. It's very intense. And I think that many of you, like you dodged a ma massive bullet. Because at some point, this person here, this twin flame that is clearly... There is something like of an addiction around them that is where they don't have any control over what they're doing. They could have tried to try to steal from you. Like this person's very narcissistic. Like this was a shock to your system when you found out like that this person, they're supposed to be, you're, you're supporting you, but there is shit going down. I mean, the, the roof is on fire. There is something like completely batshit crazy going on around this person, this twin flame. <laughs> it's... I've never seen anything like it. You could be dealing with, um, so we have the year of the rabbit. We have double confirmation of year of the ox. We also have here marriage and wealthy man, mature woman, expectations. Now, see what I'm seeing here. You have moved away into a different world, okay? But it's, this energy here is mad. It's mental. It's, it's, uh. Yeah, it's like trying to sabotage um, you, but it says here to have spiritual strength. You've been through so much, but it's, it's saying here that um, you might have acquired some scars, but you, you already are strong enough to handle anything. And even this one here and stand your ground here. So there could be some forces against you where you feel this could be someone like sending some kind of trying to send some bad luck at you. I'm telling you some crazy stuff. Third eye chakra is coming up as well. So there's something about, um, you could sense that something is going on. Someone is trying to attack you. You see it. Um, Maybe you, I need to do some yoga, walking, meditation. Um, it's something about finding balance. There could be a lot of envy around you as well. This is your uh, uh, third eye chakra. It's between your eyebrows and a bridge of your nose. It works closely with the throat and crown chakra. I'm going to assist you to, with your psychic and intuitive inner guidance as well. I'm telling you, there's someone here that... It's trying to give you bad luck based on giving you energy, but it's backfiring now. And I think that's what they're realizing as well. And they're realizing your power, but they cannot get through to you. You could have air in your chart, Pisces in your chart or Virgo in your chart. We have solar flares activate. So there's something about tempers flaring along the sun. Um, it's saying here like you can scorch yourself with too much passionate action and not enough emotional sensitivity if you're not mindful. 
So the sun is sending extra voltage and inspiration your way. So use it wisely. Feel the heat in the situation, the passion in the people involved, the balance, the fire by adding water, compassion. So something about hot and fiery, something that you're building as well that could wear you out. So maybe it's saying here, anything that seems very sort of, you know, passionate and like all in the moment, like be careful, be careful of anyone offering you that. Pluto, rebirth uh, as well. It's a uh, shadow side can bring up obsession, depression, mortality and grief. It says uh, this Pluto energy can play hardball as well. So it's asking you to face, um, it's like a face in face of life and death, uh, you might question yourself why you're here. It's very deep sort of questions here. Um, it's to dig deep, be willing to transform and use a power wisely. So I believe that you have gone through the transformation. I think it's your person here that, um, I think it's your person here, someone that's holding on to the past and if they let go, they could, you know, start this journey of progression. It's, um, it's basically someone here that is rushing towards you in the near future and is very passion situation now for most of you you know who this person is and i think you will stay stay clear of them this is someone going through a tarot moment you see here you are protected so you could already be meditating you're a master manifester you are staying put where you are see you are tempering yourself there is another person around you as well that you're looking at and you, and you're kind of very staying where you cool, calm and collected. But this person over here is someone that's sending you some kind of energy and they're trying to connect with you. But you are protected here. There is a king of pentacles. And also for you, if you don't have anyone, it's it's like you are, it could be, could be someone you work with or you are, like you know, you know what type of person is a kind person. You know what type of person that you will accept in your life. And for many of you, you are leaving uh, this twin flame to... Um, so you're, you are rejecting them and you're leaving them to, to their own vices, but you will hear from this person. They could come in and say, okay, they, they're throwing in a towel, okay, they, they are changing and so on, but this person is not changing. This person is, they are desperate. That's, that's what's changing. Uh, and they might be, um, you know, it's like they're coming in with their cup, king of cups here. They're, but they are, there is, they're, they are just, completely out of their mind they'll do anything to get attention anything to collaborate with you okay that their happiness yeah is short-lived because they it's all based on their ego at the moment like they are completely out of yeah this person is just very 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 imbalanced wow very crazy reading um okay anything else there spirits what's going on in this reading yeah you will realize that you have dodged a bullet here. It's someone you will see and they will contact you, okay? You are moving towards new love. This is destined. You've changed your direction just in time. Um, someone here, however, they're coming in to, you know, say to you that they have healed, but they haven't. They are in the middle of the chaos, okay? They have to sacrifice something. They're not willing to sacrifice, uh, but... But there is a lot of trouble around this person. There is like constant trouble. Um, they could say to you that they are single, right? Because they want to be with you. They want what you have. This person will come in with their heart on their sleeve here, okay? Because they want what you have. You have the pentacles. But this person is going through the dark night of the soul. This person could face court jail. They could face a lot, okay? This person really, really wants what you have and about what you're about to have as well. But this person is a karmic twin flame and because of actually because of their shadow side pushing you to the light and pushing you to kind of stay away from them because this person have to go through their own journey it's very much a blessing in disguise here but you are going to see it if you have you know experienced like bad luck um just experience an energy that isn't yours. This is this twin flame projecting that on you. And I, I think this is now coming to an end. You could feel like this kind of relief, release uh, at, at the moment. Because someone has been really weighing on your energy heavily. And it's 
it's not someone you even speak to day to day it's like a very much of a heavy energy someone that drinks a lot this could be someone that drinks a lot and like practice like this kind of um cultish stuff or voodoo this is someone that is very crazy um at the moment like they have lost it that's what i'm picking up like they have lost it and that energy they have they're tapping into yours it's very strong i mean they, this person here they want to connect with you but they're doing it in an aggressive way like a very narcissistic way there are like you know come to me kind of thing they are they are praying on you to come towards them and there's nothing that they are doing they could be trying like sexual magic as well but there there's nothing that they're that they can do that will uh, affect you see someone here addictions addictions are affecting your romantic life so for some of you, you are connecting to them you know you know you know this person you know what they're they're doing there isn't enough chemistry like you are turned off from this person they've been wearing a false mask for so long so you for many of you you are like okay well then i know you could be saying that i don't even know why this person is showing up in your energy and like of course you would want uh, and not a case like that in your energy anyway but they're here and i i only the only logical reason for that it's it's your twin flame that is going through this rebirth well they aren't going through the rebirth yet but they are near they have to there is an ending i mean there's an ending they are getting sucked into and nothing is going to be the same afterwards but they are this this could if you're dealing with a narcissistic person like someone with serious mental issues addiction you name it whatever it is you cannot help them and you know that you can't help them but they want you to help them because they need your energy and they just they just think of what they need okay and they are trying every trick in the book every trick in the book because they are gutted that they let you go they now know if they did something else or you know you would have stayed perhaps you know whatever they are thinking they are not in their right mind they also want children with you okay this person is like there is like oh they are realizing who you are like you're an angel on this earth to them you are you know you are you know what they wished for all along and they will you know this person here is going to do something crazy i'm telling you brace yourself this person is going to do something crazy you name it they'll do it they're 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 going to to do it this person here is like a, uh, I'm telling you, they are crazy, crazy. Um, it's as if like they have their, their mission is to, like, they have to get you to fall for them. That's, that's what they, that's their ultimate goal here. There's something about you. They want you to have this attraction for them that you once used to have but you don't have it anymore and there is not a spell in the world that can make them like they can't um make you have that attraction or i can't even i can't even speak that's how, how that's how bad the energies are it's like this person <laughs> they can't believe it they won't accept it like the devil here they won't accept that you are not attracted to them they won't accept that because they are god's gift and they are the best looking person in the whole world so you must be so lucky that this person <laughs> is offering themselves to you that's what their ego say but there isn't much left of them in the mix here this is someone that is going down far down into rabbit hole it's heavy heavily addiction heavily something it is very bad uh, i hope this person um and and this is this person here will have a a moment where they might be clutching to a straw and this will be a turnaround or or this could be the end of them because it's something very very much like spiraling out of control like it's like they they really are the devil and you really are the angel that's that's how it is plus this union is a twin flame union it's very 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 intense but if this person's suffering from addiction 
of course, you move out the addictions and this person go through a program, you know, of course that can, they, they, there is them in there, but if this person is in, in addition to have a mental issues on top of all that fuel they are throwing in, and that's, that's the kind of person that it seems here. It's very, very like, it's a mixture of addiction as well as a mental issues, see, and also outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in their head, have faith, love is coming, empath and a narcissist paradigm being charmed, used, enable boundaries. You're welcoming in love, you're welcoming in the one. So this is someone now that's becoming the chaser. I mean, this person is on your case, watching, they're looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. They could watch you get married. See, there is, this relationship is over, no second chances, growth and transform your life. Separation. Sadness missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. This is twin flame, yeah. This this is a twin flame that is crashing and burning. So sorry to everyone that wants this person back, but they reminiscing, not today, not dealing with hurt. They're healing from a heartbreak. I mean, this person um is definitely going through a lot. I don't see you wanting this person um anything but well, but you cannot help them this is like this person have to find their way it's not like they don't know it is not like they don't have any help this person don't want any help they are just they, they are just determined to fix the bad with a more of the bad here this this person is but there I, i'm seeing this this there is something that is going to take this person away from from the chaos But if you if you think this person don't have your number or don't know where you live, um, they do. I know it was a distraction from your pain. So there, I left you when I saw you with someone. We will be together again. I wish I treated you better. I want to tell you how I feel. I couldn't let you get close to me. So yeah, there's a few energies here as well. Um, yeah, there's a few energies of pain like um and it's i'm picking up here a twin flames that you have uh, recognized your twin flame you have unconditional love for your twin flame but you have chosen another path here and um, and this path is it could be already have been starting so this is a person that you will move in together with this is marriage this is where you will heal um you know this is someone here they love you unconditionally this is not the same type of connection as this twin flame it's it's different uh, this could be in, in signing a contract you know you have children you have also the uh, empress and the ace of wands which, which often means fertility um, you and this person could ha yeah have children um it's like your life is changing um because you have decided also to surrender and and heal Okay, you might have gone through a lot of pain with this person as well. But this person is like going through a tower moment and they will be reaching out. But yeah, bear in mind, it's high risk here when they reach out to you. Uh, it's like they can't really offer you anything in the state they are in. And um, again, someone here loves you. Someone here wants a new beginning with you. Again, you could have water elements in your chart. You can meet someone in a work or career setting or online as well but it's more of an online like someone you're watching or they're watching you someone with a sort of a public status okay seeing clearly this person here the strong earth in their chart um could also be a, a sagittarius as well okay um mm -mm, let me see if i can find out a little bit more okay who is this person who is this king of King of uh, Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's going to speak the truth. They could, with the Two of Cups underneath the deck, live on a distance. Um, there, you could meet them. It's like this is like someone you. It's like day to day talk. Just it's um, yeah, something like you meet you. You're speaking to them in like a work setting or. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the way you meet them. It's not like a romantic setting, 
about yeah there is something about the very straight talking this person here yeah they're very interested in you they are suddenly going to take action okay suddenly going to take action this person might also have recently left someone a capricorn no wonder you are surrounded by towers okay but that's a little bit different than the situation with your twin flame someone here is going to come clean about their feelings they're realizing feelings for you. So you are going to have an encounter here with a soulmate. This person here, I love you already. This person, um, yeah, they they have strong feelings for you. There will also be some resistance uh, around them coming forward, okay? But someone here is going to make the moves, okay? Uh, but yeah, there is quite a lot of aggressive energies um, around you. <laughs> but the... The twin flame union here, that, that's someone that is, is going through like crash and burn. Um, this is going to be the beginning of their journey, I feel. Like they are facing their darkest moment when it comes to their shadow side because they are not willing to surrender. And they are facing a very difficult moment here where they're going to have to surrender. This person here has a massive ego, but it's fueled with a lot, uh, again, like health issues. A lot of partying as well. Like this person could be unrecognizable. It's like this person, someone that have chosen a lifestyle that looks bad. Um, like they might not even see how bad they look. So this could be some, uh, they could have Aries in their chart. Okay. This could be someone that is very handsome, very good looking, but they have sort of burnt a candle in both ends. And they, it's something like they, they really, mm, yeah. They still think that they can win here with you, okay? That they're this spiritual connection that you can come together. And, and again, like they would have to face heartache and they will have to, you know, they will have to, to surrender here. They're on a distance from you. They'll have to give up drinking or whatever, the third parties here, okay? They are frantically connecting, trying to connect with you because they know that you are the only light that is shining within them. Okay, this is someone that will do whatever it takes, but it will, like, it will look very desperate. It will look like very, very sort of false because this person is not going to be in their right mind. You will see it. It's like you are not like this person have connected with you on a deep level uh, in the past, but. They've disconnected with that part of themselves or you have this, no, I guess it's more you that you have disconnected with them. There's something about you that you have seen this person's like, you've seen that ego, that addiction, that other person taking over the person that you love. So you know that it's your twin flame, but you have accepted that this person it cannot be part of your life and you have switched off your feelings for them. And that has not happened overnight. They cannot accept that because they have not switched off their feelings for you because you have not done them dirty like they have done with you. So therefore, that is different. But again, this, this person... You know, they they need your strength. They it's like they they can't bear to be in the cold. They can't bear as well. It's like they they know what they have to do, but they refuse to do that. There's some kind of pain they would have to go through. Yeah, they will have to go through here. And again, there there's something about the death um, and rebirth. Like because they have to their ego death will kind of start it, it it happens when they can look at you and accept that well they are crushed because you don't not looking their way because you don't like their ego you don't want to connect with their ego so therefore you know they will have a reaction to that so brace yourself here okay it's something about they are very much um focused on you because there is like people saying to them oh why don't you connect with them you know they have money they will look after you right you had such a great opportunity you know now look at you so this person is like oh yeah of course you're right again they're not being with it so they will contact you this person there is a message 
they walked away there's a message from them from the past here okay and as soon as they contact you they're going to tell you something about leaving someone or they're going to show their single status this person could have cancer in their child they could like you could see some kind of status about them traveling maybe traveling to where you live but there's something about your finances that now i mean they could see you glow or like they see you shine they see you you know doing well for yourself and again, it's, that's why they want to come forward. But again, that's their ego. So you will uh, have good news, by the way, when it comes to your finances. Yeah, the luck is shining on you because you're, you are making the right decisions. You are accept, accepting losses where there are losses. You are taking a rest. You're you're going inwards and, you know, healing yourself step by step. And the sun is shining on you. There's love showing up in your life here with this king of pentacles. Again, you have someone here that is, again, this person is envious. They want to battle you from a distance. This person here, I mean, they are waking up in pain as well. And they just want to... Um, it's like they will, they will try to demand to get you back. I'm picking someone up with cancer. Like, it's, it's very bad. This person do not, unfortunately, not have the right support. This person have grown up in an environment where it seems like they have support. But all along, their friends, uh, their family, right? Their, um, they've just been leading them away from you. Like they've had an opportunity, like maybe you met this person when they were much younger. They had a great opportunity then to get out of, to get out of something, but they didn't. And now they're over their head in their health issues, addiction, you know, work. They might have a job, yes, but it's like it's hanging by the thread. And, you know, they are coming towards you. There's, there is a cancer here. They again using magic. They think that that's going to work on you. <laughs> but you are, you know, you are protected. This person, at some point, it might have worked on you, but now it's not working because you disconnected from them. Yeah, you could be getting together with someone wealthy here. Um, the good things are happening to you. Again, someone is on their way to you. King of a Knight of Pentacles. Sorry. See, they want your finances. They're going to come in and say, look, you know, I've given up everything, okay? I've given up the world, new worlds for you, my old world. I've now become spiritual, this, that, and the other, okay? I've sacrificed everything for you. There's someone, they're coming in to, to tell you that now. The king of wands is going to tell you that. And they're going to put their heart on the sleeve for you as well. But see, they're regretting it, but it, they're going to leave here with a heartache because they, it, it's very much too late. Um, I, I see that you have already walked away from this person. You don't love them anymore. See, they, they, they've made you suffer. They will suffer when you turn them down. But they have made this bed. And they're actually coming out of isolation when they're desperate. When they're going through a tower. Okay, this, this twin flame of yours want to connect now. They're not strong anymore. They haven't matured as well. They're going through the dark night of the soul. You are witnessing someone here that is going downhill. Okay. They are, they don't have any support. Like there is nowhere to be seen. They might also lose their job here. Seven of Swords. They might even be, turn to crime. Yeah. This person here is someone that is the, the death card. You'll see someone crash and burn like completely. Um, yeah, that's quite sad. Um, yeah, just something like you can't even help this person because they are they are like a walking, talking disaster. I'm just seeing everything they touch blows up. Like they're, that's the, how bad it is. You've tried to help this person. I'm, I'm picking up, um, gosh, so many cards. You've tried to help this person. You could have tried to help this person for years. And I'm seeing here that this person didn't, they didn't like people around them said to stay away from you and stay where they are but it's like your light kept them like it's almost like your light kept this person sane you know it's like it was i don't know it's like this person here have just really burnt a candle in every end possible um and I'm, I'm telling you you are going to see something about this person i will definitely 
go and get a salt bath, something, uh, uh, sage. It's like this person, because they're heavily, heavily thinking about you. This person is like, they're obsessed. It's not even a, that, that's not even like, <laughs> it's an underestimation of, uh, of, of how they feel about you. It's like this person is waking up, you know, 10 years later and looking at you and they're like finding out maybe, they could be finding out someone is actually telling them, why didn't you go towards them? I know you were in love with them. And they're like, what? I trusted you. So it's like the, the, this person had chosen wrong allies. And instead of, so instead of this person sort of surrendering and saying, okay, yes, I have chose, made all the wrong choices. I'm, I'm suffering. I'm in pain. Okay. And I, now I must go that direction to find healing. They don't. They just keep on adding more fuel to their fire. Okay. This is someone that could unfortunately be a narcissistic. I pick up someone also, they're narcissistic because of addictions. So they, they, you know, it's like, they don't even know who they are. This is someone that needs like medication, maybe for bipolar. Uh, I'm picking up this person had been in a very corrupt, bad marriage. Um, you know, death card is coming to an end. There is like a lot of arguments. Um, yeah. They are going to find their spiritual path, I'm seeing here, okay? I am seeing that this person, even your, you turning them away is going to be a, um, it's like a, a blessing to them. Anything you do towards them is a blessing uh, here. They are fighting and battling this transformation. See, this person as well, they are saying like, oh, no, I can't do it now. Like, see... See, they're holding on to this twin flame union. and But the thing is, with this person, they are thinking more about how they can get money for something. That's what they're holding on to. This person as well, they are... It's something about this person. They could spend all their money for, for on their looks, on their you know habits. Okay, this could be someone that is like, oh, well, this is the season now. I need money. I need money. This is someone that will find... a. They would turn on their charm to get someone to pay for them. They will use magic, manipulation, whatnot. But it's not working anymore because this person, they are older and it's just their frequency aren't aligned with anything anymore. It's also, you know, anyone that, you know, it's like their games don't work. It doesn't work on anyone because this person here knows that it is like the end for them. They have lost that spark they have lost that it's like they you know everyone with a certain amount of money and youth okay i think you can you know you can still be maximum toxic and you can probably okay look back and think wow that i look good there were some funny stories and you know that person would you know get away with murder so this person something and when they were really young i see this person they are very good looking they are they know how to have fun okay so this person has some great stories and this person and you you have shared passion shared love there has been definitely very sweet moments between the two of you and you could have discussed marriage uh, you could be a little bit older than this person here but like they are coming in a they're throwing a curveball this is someone i'm telling you they are jumping on transportation as soon as they can get contact with you i mean i'm telling you they, they will ask you anywhere so we'll just be aware of make you aware of that because you have someone okay twin flames you have someone here king of pentacles this is someone completely different to this person completely different now there is a thing here as well I'm seeing, and that's where the warning comes. This person, this twin flame, they are tempting. They will tempt you, you know, like you might sit here now and say and throw, and you'd be like, absolutely. No, because I think for some of you, you might be like, okay, I know who this is. Because this, this twin flame union is like, well, yeah, it's not the kind of twin flame union you want um, to, to be in. But this this connection here there's, there's been times where there you know this this union is very harmonious and there is still harmony between you two because this person is obsessed with you they don't want to harm you but the thing is they are a walking talking sort of disaster they are damaged goods so whatever they touch including you that will you know it will like blow up but there is something very tempting about this person let me tell you that there is something very tempting for some of you again you have your 
you know, you have your choices, your journey. And I'm telling you, you could say yes to this person. You could have a wild night or a, even an interaction that feels wild with this person because everything with this person is wild. There are a lot. Um, and it is tempting because this person will come to you and be all that you want to be and then some. <laughs> That they are going to be a lot, then they're going to be very, very persistent. But I, I think for most of you, you will actually avoid them. And that's probably the best thing. It is the best thing for them as well. But uh, I'm telling you, this person here is, um, they are relentless. They're going to be relentless. It's like the devil and the angel, them trying to 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 get to where you are. They are like refusing to accept that you do not want to spend time with them and that you do not love them. They are refusing to accept that. Wow, what a reading. Didn't predict this one. Okay, it might not resonate with many of you. So uh, if it doesn't, don't force yourself to listen to it. But for those of you that it does resonate with, well, I hope you've got some useful, something useful out of it. So thank you very much. And I'm sending you so much love and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.